Crud, tell me you got something useful out of the data from Axis. You better believe it. Only thing is, well, we're not sure how much a difference it'll make. Of course it'll make a difference. We didn't retrieve all that for nothing. So most of what we've learned was logistical information. Where outsiders are stationed, how they plan to advance, and so forth. Seems like that'd be a big help in a war. Sure, if we could stand against them. I mean, we'll know what towns to evacuate before they're hit, but we still can't stand up to their forces in a fight, even if we ambush them. Bullshit. I fight them all the time. Why can't everyone else? Yeah, but you're you. You've got the best weapons humanity has ever learned to use. A team of highly trained agents, and that thing on your arm. We only have so many XCOM agents, but the Outsiders have an entire planet full of soldiers. What are we supposed to do then? Just give up? Hell no, of course not. It's just that we really only have one chance to turn this thing around. Take out Origin and Mosaic. Yeah, and I can't think of anyone better suited to do it. Sorry. How are the Outsiders dealing with the loss of Axis? He was the invasion leader, so it must have thrown off some of their plans. We thought it'd be like an army losing its general, but we overestimated his importance. Seems like they're still getting commands through Mosaic. From Origin. That's why he's the next target. Yeah. Take out Origin, shut down Mosaic, and the Outsiders should be completely cut off. Suddenly, we'll have the advantage. If this mission succeeds... We're all counting on you. Good luck. What do we know about the alien homeworld? Anything about their defenses? We're pretty sure the Mosaic Core is located just off their homeworld. If he's broadcasting commands through it, that's gotta be where Origin is. The data you pulled from Axis mentions automated security, but there was no mention of guards. Then the Avenger can get us past most of the automated systems? Exactly. You know, I really wish we had time to explore their world. Man, I'd pay anything to see that. Maybe I could get you a seat on the Avenger. <laughs> oh, no you don't. I said I'd pay anything. Not that I'd risk my life, thank you very much. What do you think about our chances? Your chances against Origin, or the chances for the whole human race? One's not happening without the other, right? Guess you got a point there. So what would you say are the chances? You don't want to know. The way people are betting, well, if you make it back, let's just say I'll be rich. Great. Glad I could help. Looks like it's time to ship off. If I come back, maybe I'll bring you a souvenir. You just take care of Mosaic, okay? Don't think I can ask any more than that. Good, you're here. I need a word. Angie, how are you doing with everything that happened? Axis is dead. As for Pete, I lost him years ago, Will. This was just the final goodbye. I'm sorry. Thanks. Now, let's get back to work. We don't have much time. What do you mean? We were right. This attack is the precursor for a larger one. The rest of their forces will be here in hours. A day, if we're lucky. Anything else useful? Weapon schematics, weaknesses, that sort of thing? No obvious weaknesses, if that's what you mean. Axis was head of their invasion, so he knew everything about their troop strength and deployments. That ought to give the analysts something to work with. Not that we have any time. The main force will be here within a matter of hours. If this works, we won't need the other intel. Take out their central command and their whole army should fall apart. Maybe. But chances are, we won't be coming back from the attempt, one way or another. Only thing we need now is for Weir to finish calculating the transport data. This strike sounds like it'll be a one-way trip. Maybe. I'm not going to worry about it. If we die, we die. I'm going to make sure that Origin comes with us. I'm glad we're on the same page. I've lost as much as anyone in this war, and I'll damned well be there to finish it. I want you to know... What happened with your brother back there? Well, it's okay. You were right. 
It had to be done. I only hope you'd do the same for me if it came down to it. If it's you, I won't have to think twice. Ah, oh, thanks. But thank you, Will. And I'm sure Pete would thank you, too. You find what you were looking for back there? I knew putting him down wasn't going to change much. It won't bring anyone back, but I can sleep a little easier. Thanks, Will, for giving me that chance. There's not a lot of time. Understood. Go check on Weir for the target's coordinates. I'll be ready when you are. This always was a mess. Tell me again how it happened. We were taking cover behind the crates when suddenly my mind was just full of this one idea. Over and over again. And what was that idea? Team leader is an enemy. Kill him. Over and over. He's an enemy. Kill him. But I wasn't the one thinking it. And what did you do then? I didn't do it. That's not the story I hear from forensics or from your remaining squad mate. It was my arm and my gun, but I wasn't the one who did it. I know what those bastards can do to a man. But from now on, any other teammate is only going to see you as a liability in the field. I know, sir. I'm reassigning you to base duty. Something quiet, away from the action. You'll also see the counselor three times a week for therapy and monitoring, in case there are long-term effects. Understood, sir. Thank you, sir. It's just... That wasn't me. I couldn't have done a thing like that. You're in a war. That's what we all tell ourselves. Be careful, Mitzat Delirium! We must have the utmost caution! Things seem scattered. What's going on? Ah, Herr Volk has had my best men working on a special edition for the Avenger. I hardly have time for our latest breakthrough. Special edition? I don't like surprises, Doc. Not to worry, William. Just a small contingency plan. But in the course of its development, we made a most remarkable discovery. Don't screw with me, Doc, with your special additions and contingency plans. What are you working on? I'm afraid I cannot, William. Herr Folk's orders. But listen to me. I believe we may have found a cure to the Sleepwalker infection. So you think you have a cure for the Sleepwalkers? One of Dr. Veer's projects involves disrupting the connection to Mosaic. With some minor modification, and the medical assistance of Dr. Herr, I believe it could partially reverse the effects of the infection. Even a partial cure is better than nothing. Can I do anything to help? Actually, yes. Dr. Hera has asked if you could assist with the first human test. Why me? I'm no doctor. I do not know his reasonings, but I am inclined to trust his judgment. If you have time, of course. To find a cure, I'll make the time. Wunderbar. He is preparing in the observation lab. And when you are finished, I would appreciate your report. You said you're adding something to the Avenger. Isn't a flying saucer impressive enough? I apologize, William, but Director Folk has demanded total secrecy on this project. Even the different teams do not know the full details of how their creations will be used. That doesn't inspire a lot of trust, Doc. I understand, William. I truly do. But Herr Folk saw how information about the Avenger got out, and he has no intention for that to happen once again. Suppose I can't blame him. We've both got a lot to get done. Indeed, William. In the next hours, we will decide the course of human history. One way or another. That's everything we need. Run those to the director and tell him I'll meet him at the hangar. Ah, Carter. Just in time. 
Got our travel plans ready, Doc? Yes. I've just finished calculating the coordinates for our strike, and... and I've tested the Vengate as well as I can, given the conditions. We won't get a second shot at this. Well then, I suppose it's now or never. That's a strange thing to hear, coming from you. Sometimes the best test is a live one, Carter. Not exactly filling me with confidence there, Doc. If it's any comfort, I'll be in the Avenger as well. Should anything go awry, I'll be ready. So, the data from Axis gave you the coordinates you needed. Where do they point? Most definitely. They point to a particularly isolated point in orbit around the alien homeworld. Where exactly is the alien homeworld? It's hard to describe precisely without a star map. But it's approximately 600 light years away from Earth, in the Cygnus constellation. They're a long way from home. Planets that can sustain our kind of life are few and far between, even in an infinite universe. You've opened other Vengates before, right? This isn't all just theoretical. Of course. You were there when Lawrence and I opened the first one. That didn't exactly turn out well. No, but it worked. And we've had success in smaller tests since then using recovered outsider technology. Well, that's good to hear, I think. Of course, the real test will be transferring something as large as the Avenger. We'll see about that soon enough, though. Any idea what we can expect to find on their homeworld? Thankfully, the outsiders seem to have a similar environment and gravity to our own. No doubt that's why they chose Earth for their conquest. But the rest may be, as they say, quite alien. What sort of defenses would they have? The Avengers stealth ability should get us past the toughest defenses, but it looks like you'll have to do the last leg of the trip on foot. Just me and my squad in an alien base? Sounds like fun. Their security will no doubt be fierce, but I'm happy to say it'll be limited. They apparently try to keep Origin's location secret, so they can't garrison an entire army around it. We're gonna be relying on your work. I sure hope it makes the grade, Doctor. As do I. You're not the only one whose life is on the line. Can't say I relish the risk of dying so far away from home, but how many scientists have a chance to see an alien world? Don't think of it as dying far away from home. Think of it as dying to save your home. Um, yes. That's much more comforting, isn't it? Suppose it's time. See you in the Avenger, Carter. Officer, I trust the Infiltrator is secure. Oh, he's been an absolute pussycat since you killed Axis. Can't tell what's gotten into him, but either way, he's secured. Careful. He's still the enemy no matter what he says. We can't afford any slip-ups now. Of course, sir. But at this point, he hardly says anything at all like he's been sleeping 20 hours a day. And here I would have expected him to spend all day gloating. Oh well. How are you holding up? Oh, that's a little more complicated. We can't afford to take chances this close to launch. If there are any security concerns, I need to know. Believe me, I know. And the entire security team is on high alert. Enemy has yet to find our location, but... We've been putting in defenses to prepare for the day they do. Good to know, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Security can't afford to be optimistic in something like that, sir. I'm not sure I trust him being this quiet. He might be planning something. I don't think so. He hasn't said a word to anyone, and he's barely eaten anything. And he's still disconnected from Mosaic. Hmm. Maybe he's sick, or... Hell, I don't know. Ever since he heard you got Axis, it's like he's waiting for something. I wonder how he'll respond if we shut down Mosaic. When, sir. Not if. I know you'll do it. I heard about your family troubles. Any improvement? Oh, Percy and his team brought my girl back, along with the rest of the family. It was nice to have a chance to talk with her before the infection got too bad. I know how tough that can be. But don't worry, she's in good hands. Oh, I know. It's just that, well, my parents were staying with her. And they were drinking the same water she was. Oh. We don't know how much time they've got left. Maybe it won't even hit them, but at least they're here. I've got to get going. Of course, sir. Go and put an end to this war. For all of us. William Carter. It is you. You're not normally like this. I am... Not sure. I was having visions of Axis. 
of origin of my people. Dreaming, huh? Perhaps that is the name for it. It has been more intense since I was disconnected from Mosaic. You mentioned your dreams. What do you see in them? My people rushing forward like a tide on the ocean, surging across your world and building everywhere they touch. Sure sounds like your war plan. There is no stopping them. They are an endless mass. And above them all stands Origin, gleeful, turning your world into a husk, just like we did to our own. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna make sure of that. I know you mean to destroy Mosaic and free us from Origin, but I fear that will not be enough. But it'll make a difference, one step at a time. How are things for you here? Some of the scientists are curious and cruel. The guard, Richard Rose, he attempts to protect me. It is appreciated, but insulting to a warrior. Good to hear. We need your insight if we're gonna save our people, and convince them to accept your people as refugees. I will assist you in any way I can. What should I expect on your homeworld? Why would you need to know that? Because it's time we took the fight to them. This is a foolish thing you do, William Carter. Even the most remote parts of our home are protected. We've taken precautions. Just tell me what to expect. It has been so long since I saw my home. Decades of war on other planets, only sharing memories of what we fought for. Towers jutting into the sky. Gunships patrolling every sky lane and always Poison in the air, in the water, and in our minds. I see. Pain, William Carter. You should expect pain. Get your rest. Sounds like you need it. Thank you. But the visions of your planet... Perhaps... If you can stop... Origin...